But why didn't you stop and say, Mr. President, this is wrong. I cannot discuss this with you. It's a great question. Maybe if I were stronger, I would have. I was so stunned by the conversation that I just I took it in. And the only thing I could think to say, because I was playing in my mind, because I was going to remember every word he said, I was playing in my mind, what should my response be? And that's why I very carefully chose the words. And look, I, I've seen the tweet about tapes. Lordy, I hope there are tapes. I, I remember saying, I agree he's a good guy, as a way of saying I'm not agreeing with what you just asked me to do. Again, maybe other people would be stronger in that circumstance, but that, that was, uh, that's how I conducted myself. I, I hope I'll never have another opportunity. Maybe if I did it again, I would do it better. Why do you believe you were fired? I guess I don't know for sure. I believe the pre I think the president had his word that I was fired because of the Russia investigation. Something about the way I was conducting it, the president felt created pressure on him that he wanted to relieve. Again, I didn't know that at the time, but I've watched his interview. I've read the press accounts of his conversations. So I take him at his word there. Now, look, I, I could be wrong. Maybe he's saying something that's not true, but I take him at his word, at least based on what I know now. What was your impression and what did you mean by this notion of a patronage relationship? Well, it, my impression, and again, it's my impression. I could always be wrong, but my common sense told me that what was going on is either he had concluded or someone had told him that you didn't, you've already asked Comey to stay and you didn't get anything for it. And that the dinner was an effort to build a relationship, in fact, he asked specifically, of loyalty in the context of asking me to stay. And as I said, what was odd about that is we'd already talked twice about it by that point, and he'd said, uh, I very much hope you'll stay, I hope you'll stay. In fact, I just remembered sitting here a third one. When you've seen the picture of me walking across the blue room, uh, and uh, what the president whispered in my ear was, I really look forward to working with you. So after those encounters... And that was just a few days before you were Yeah, that was on the 20, the Sunday after the inauguration. The next Friday, I have dinner, and the president begins by wanting to talk about my job. And so I'm sitting there thinking, wait a minute, three times we've already, you've already asked me to stay or talked about me staying. And my common sense, again, I could be wrong, but my common sense told me what's going on here is that he's looking to get something in exchange for granting my request to stay in the job. Do you know of any case where a person has been charged for obstruction of justice or for that matter, any other criminal offense where this, they said or thought they hoped for an outcome? I don't know well enough to answer. And the reason I keep saying his words is, I took it as a direction. Right. I mean, as the President of the United States, with me alone saying, I hope this, I took it as, this is what he wants he, me to do. Now, you, I, didn't, I didn't obey that, but that's the way I took it. You may have taken it as a direction, but that's not what he said. Correct. I, that's what he I said, said. He said, I hope. Those are exact words, okay. correct. You, you don't know of anyone that's ever been charged for hoping something. Is that a fair statement? I don't as I sit here. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Comey, uh, prior to January 27th of this year, have you ever had um, a one-on-one -on -one meeting or, or a private